Welcome to this new tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be installing Kali Linux on a virtual machine using VMware Player. VMware Player is a free non-commercial version of the popular virtualization software from VMware. Let's create, click on the button create a new virtual machine to create a new virtual machine. In this menu we can select the installer disk image which we've downloaded from the Kali Linux website. We select this image file and click open. Then we click next to proceed with the installation. We'll be installing uh, Kali Linux, so we select the Linux. Kali Linux is based on Debian. We choose the 64-bit version. Of course, you should select the other version if you've downloaded the 32-bit. Let's call it Debian 7 64-bit Kali Linux. And then we can enter the location where we want to store the virtual disk image. We'll select the external USB drive. For now, let's click next to proceed with the installation. Uh, we're keeping the default setting of 20 gigabytes and we'll use a single file to store the disk image and click next. Press the customize hardware button to customize the hardware. We'll allocate two gigabytes of RAM to our virtual machine. You can always uh, choose to allocate more if you have enough free available RAM on your host system. One core should be enough for now. Then we select the network adapter and we choose for the bridged mode and press the configure adapter button and we'll choose the Realtek RTL8187 wireless interface. Of course you should check the appropriate wireless interface on your system which you want to use for your virtual machine. Let's click finish to proceed with the installation process. There's our new machine, play virtual machine button is used to start our virtual machine and proceed with the installation process. Let's maximize this window. Here we have a several installation options. For now we'll go with a graphical installation process. Select graphical install and press enter. Here we can select our desired language. For now we'll stick with English. United States, that's fine. It's asking for a location. And press continue. The keyboard layout will stick with American English. This might take a little while, let's wait for it to complete. Now it's asking us for uh, a host name, we'll stick with Kali as a default host name. We do, do not need to specify a domain name. Here we need to enter the password for the root user. We need it later to log on Kali Linux after installation. Let's choose the Eastern time zone and press continue. It 
since we're installing this on a virtual machine, we use the guide that used entire disk partitioning method and press continue. A virtual hard drive. Let's proceed by clicking continue. We'll keep all files in one partition and click continue. This is an overview of the chosen options. This be our drive after uh, the changes to the partition. Let's finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Continue. Yes, we want to write changes to disk and press continue. This will initiate the formatting process. This might take a little while to complete. This is asking us to use a network mirror and no, we do not want to use a network mirror. Let's select the no option and press, to con press continue to continue with the installation process. Our packet manager is being configured now. This will take a little while. This is asking us if we want to install the bootloader to the master boot record. Let's do this. Let's choose yes and continue. Choose the second option, the device for the bootloader installation and press continue. The installation process has been completed. Let's click continue to reboot. We should be presented with a log on screen really soon now. And then we can start using our new Kali Linux installation. Let's see. Let's type our username root and the password we've chosen earlier during the installation process and press enter to sign in. and a freshly installed Kali Linux with all applications and tools to start your ethical hacking journey. Please check back on www.hackingtutorials.org for more tutorials on Kali Linux. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.